Hey guys and welcome to my day in the life of a year 11 student and study with me. So I thought I'd just show you what I get up to on a normal school day. So I've just woken up at 6.30 and now I'm going downstairs to have some breakfast. And for breakfast I just have like a big mashup of just loads of different cereals. I have like Weetabix with Alpen, Special K and like chia seed pudding. And then I put some um, fruit on top of that. So it probably doesn't look very appetizing, but I love it. I have it every morning. I've had it like every morning for like ages. I think it's great, even though it probably looks disgusting. And then of course, I'm just doing everything else I need to do before I leave for school. So I'm just brushing my teeth and you know, gotta get those, you know, three minutes or two minutes or however long it is of brushing my teeth. And I'm really lazy. So when I'm doing my teeth, I just like fix my hair. Cause you know, I'm lazy. So I don't really do much to my hair. And then, just like magic, I don't know, I just get dressed into my school uniform, as you can see here. After that, I just try to, you know, tidy up my room a bit, like, you know, just make the bed and, like, fold up my pyjamas and stuff, because, you know, all about that tidy life. And I packed my bag the night before, but, like, there's always some extra things I had to put in, like, extra books and stuff. So I just put that all in my bag. Then I just grab my little rabbit pencil case, which is probably designed for a six-year-old, but, you know, I love it. And then I leave the house about 7.15, and I get the school bus at 7.30. And as you can see, it's, you know, quite a nice sunny day today. You know, I'm back at school for the first time since Easter holiday. And, of course, I didn't really finish all my holiday homework, so I was doing my drama essay quickly fun times and then when I get to school this is just me this is my lunchbox again probably designed for a six year old but it's great and because I had a chemistry and history test when I got to school I was just doing some last minute chemistry revision in my form room just you know looking over my notes before my test at nine o'clock it's break time oh hi I didn't see you there welcome to lunch okay Harrison tell me the changes. Harrison, your notes are so hard to comprehend. I'm sorry, that I can understand <laughs> them. That's I have a China test, so Sammy's testing me. Daniel said he thought I said that nose is hard to comprehend. I mean, my nose is hard to comprehend, so you know. So I'm here, I'm home, it's 10 past 5 and I just had dinner because like my family has been like really early compared to everyone else. I don't know why, but we do. So yeah, I just had dinner and I was really annoyed because I was meant to be at running club tonight and like I went along to running club and got changed and everything, but then I found out it was cancelled so I had to like quickly get changed again and run to my bus, but you know, I'm here. So my um, two tests today actually went fine, I had chemistry and history, but they all went fine so I was really happy and you know. Hands to my drama homework, all that. But I think I'm gonna go for a run tonight, seeing as I was meant to be at running club tonight. So, but you know, I need to let my food go down first. So I'm gonna do like half an hour of work first, and then I'm gonna go for a run. So for half an hour, I just did some Latin literature learning. And if you've seen any of my videos, or you know me at all, you'll know that literally my GCSE revision is just completely taken over by Greek and Latin literature learning. So again, I'm just testing myself on the English translation on Quizlet. You know, it's a lot of work, but I'm nearly there, so that's great. So I just went for a run, and I don't know, I think fun's the wrong word for it. I think like enjoyable, I don't know, running's really weird, but anyway. I went for a run, it was a nice 10k, and you know, all that. And I've been for a shower, so my hair's a mess, and I'm just in my pyjamas. But now, I'm gonna do some more work, so, fun. And then, because I have a Chinese written exam next Thursday, because my school does controlled assessments for Chinese still, I was just taking some key characters I want to learn, and just practicing, you know, writing them out over and over again until I learned them. And then, can you believe, I'm doing even more Latin literature. So before, I was learning the English translation for the Latin, but now what I'm doing is I'm going through all my annotations for how to analyse like the Latin poetry and I'm trying to, you know, test myself and learn the annotations. So as I keep saying, Greek and Latin literature are loads of work, that's why I'm spending loads of time on them. But you know, I actually really enjoy analysing literature and stuff. I'm taking English literature next year for A level, so it's something that I really enjoy to be honest. Then I just don't think that's not in a foreign language unless, you know, you consider maths another language. I just did a further maths plus paper that I had been set for homework, 
you'll be able to see that I didn't actually do that many questions because I was on the last page and so the last page is really really hard but you know I just puzzled through some of the questions and see what I could get done so you know it's just you know a past paper nothing too exciting and then after that can you believe I did even more Latin literature and this was for my other component the um echo analysis component so again I was learning the English translation and so I ended up doing like an hour and a half of Latin literature tonight so you know fun then I just got my stuff together and packed my bag for tomorrow at school. Then when I'd done that, I obviously just, you know, brushed my teeth, got ready for bed, all that boring stuff, and I was, you know, ready to go. Okay, so that's me. That's my day. Thank you for watching. This has been, you know, a day in the life of a year 11 student. And, you know, just a little study with me. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope it, you know, was informative and just gave you a bit of an insight into my day. It's like a general day for me, you know, it's pretty, pretty standard day to be honest. So yeah, um, as always, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, queries, suggestions, anything, just please leave them below. And if you enjoyed, please feel free to, you know, like and subscribe. And, you know, that's it from me. I'm going to go to bed now because I'm the first day back is always so draining so i'm just you know i need my sleep but anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you soon goodbye